What do you see on the high street? It seems like for some it's very tough and others actually are doing pretty well. We see a, a mixed picture between you know, those that are really rising their, raising their game, meeting the demands of their customers and others that are finding it much more challenging because the cost base of the business or some of the legacy issues that they may have. And it's a real perfect storm of technology changing the way that we all shop, um, rising costs for lots of companies and demand being, you know, fair, although October was a little bit better fairly sluggish overall. But how much does this have to do with Brexit and how much of it, as you say, is just legacy issues? It's a shop that you don't want to go into and so they just don't sell. Um, I think the uncertainty that is surrounding us all at the moment, political uncertainty, Brexit, is having an impact on shoppers. But I, I think that the most significant thing is the, the sort of technology transformation that we're seeing. And that's leading lots of retailers to, to invest in, in digital, in mobile, in innovation. And yet at the other end of the spectrum, causing real distress in certain parts of the high street. So how does a UK shopper shop? Do you go online and then buy everything online? Or do you look online but then go, go into bricks and mortar? Well, that's ex ex all of the above, I think, is the answer to that. So more and more of us are are shopping across different channels um, joining them all together and actually from a retailer point of view what's really important is is to ensure that the offer is is seamless across all of those channels and that they have the right store environment that encourages people in and the right digital offer as well and so, do, do shoppers look for bargains if they're if they're spending less because of the uncertainty politically do they want bargains or do they just still buy the same things but just less of it uh, again, it's a little bit of both. I think certainly the, the value equation, so not just price, but product quality and how it all fits together is, is really important from a shopper point of view because what the internet and digital has done is give us all complete visibility and transparency over, over not just price, but where um, products actually come from and more information about how they're made. So, so from a consumer point of view, from a shopper point of view, we are, we're all getting, we're getting a great deal. Shop prices have been falling over the course of the last few years, particularly in, in, in non-food categories. So, so it's really important from a, from a transformation point of view that we have the right environment from a, from a government perspective to enable this transformation to occur. What would you be asking for the next government, whoever that may be? Yeah. What do retailers need from 10 Downing Street? Well, what they need is, it, as a backdrop to this, this transformation and this restructuring that we're seeing in lots of parts of the industry is, is the right policy environment to enable that to happen successfully. So there's big buckets of things around property taxes, business rates is really um, one that every single retailer that operates physical shops will always mention, uh, mention. We need reform of the business rate system. In terms of people who work in the industry, we need to be investing in people, retraining them for the nature of, of different jobs in the future. So things like the retraining scheme, the apprenticeship levy, these aren't working so well for retail at the moment. So we need those to work better. So those would be two that I would highlight. We saw what happened to Mother Care yesterday. Are you expecting more bankruptcy? in the UK retail sector? Well, I think that comes back to your previous question, really. It, it depends on what environment the next government can really put in place to ensure that we see you know, a, a soft transformation as opposed to a hard transformation because you know, that we are at the moment seeing a number of store closures and job losses, um, and yet you know, I talk to lots of other retailers who want to invest in, in high streets and town centres, and yet the costs of doing so are just so prohibitive. So we need to create that, that environment to enable all types of retail to, th to flourish in the future. So we have early elections, December 12th. It's 12 mm. days before Christmas, before the holidays. <laughs> the golden season. quarter, it's what cool. does that? What does that mean for, yeah. for shopping in, in the UK? Well, who knows is the answer. I, well, I don't know. I think you know, it, it's all to play for from a, um, from, a, from a retailer point of view. The competition is is really intense so consumers us all as shoppers we are going to get we're going to get some great deals there's going to be a lot of um, value and a lot of um, great products on offer and the impact of, of that election being timed so close to Christmas because we haven't had one in in in, in sort of modern times it's it's really difficult to call but 
I speak to lots of chief executives of retail businesses and it goes from one end of the spectrum who are hugely excited about what's going to be happening over the next few weeks and are all geared up for a really successful Christmas and yet at the other some real concerns that that environment that uncertainty is going to continue to, to weigh down so it's so it's all to play for but consumers are going to get a great deal whichever way it pans out.